Hi friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to take a piece of printer paper and fold it in order to make a paper star. Um, we'll start with making it into a square first and then folding it and you will only need to make one cut in order to make a paper star. First what you'll need to do is take your bottom corner and match it up with the top edge of the piece of paper and just crease it down enough so that this edge lays flat because that's where you will be cutting in order to make a square. Once I get that, I am going to cut along that line, that edge. All right. And when you unfold it, you can throw away this extra piece. When you unfold it, you will have a paper square. The first step in order to make the star is to take your piece of paper and fold it up so the edges match up, match up the corners, fold down the center, and crease it from left to right. Now what you will do is take your bottom right corner and bring that corner up to the middle of the left side of the paper. So it's not going to be up here, not down here, just as close to the center as you can. You'll hold down that corner and then crease this fold. Next, you will bring this bottom left corner and you are going to crease it right where this new edge is. So I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to crease it right where it comes to this edge. There we go. My last fold is taking this edge, bringing it over to match up with this edge. It's a little tricky to fold this last fold. Make sure the bottom is a point. This should be a point and this should match. So you'll get a crease that's right about there, and it matches right on the edge. Fold that. Now turn it so that the point is facing you, and you will place a dot right on this corner. And then if you look at this part and this part, less, a little bit more than halfway down. So I'm gonna make my dot right here. And you are going to cut a line connecting those two dots. So line up your scissors and cut on that. It's a little bit tricky. I like to hold the pieces together and make your cut like that. This is the piece that you will throw away. You'll see that it's just a random shape. This triangle is your star. So you can unfold it and Reveal your beautiful five-pointed star. There you go, and you have nice creases on those sections. Now that you have your star made, you are ready to start decorating. I'm gonna put a scrap piece of paper underneath my star so that as I'm using my Sharpie, I do not get it on the table. And I'm gonna start with first tracing over the creases, it might help to flatten out the star. And then you can trace down by just pulling your whole arm toward yourself. Turn it, turn the star so that your line you're tracing is facing you again. And for these long ones, it really is helpful just to drag your whole arm Now it's time to decorate in each segment of the star. I'm gonna start with writing my name first in the one section. And if you struggle with block letters, what you can do is just draw your name in normal light letters. 
And then, and I'm filling it all the way up to the very, so my middle letters are a little bit bigger because that's the bigger part of the star. And then I'm going to trace around my letters and that will get you started on more fancy black letters. So now when I Sharpie over this, I'll just Sharpie over my new lines that I drew around my letters. And then I can erase my pencil lines that were inside. I'm going to skip a section because I'm going to fill every other with patterns and I'm going to write my grade. In this section, I'm going to write how I will shine this year at school. That happens to be our school theme, but you can fill it with anything else that you want. I wrote my two reflections of how I will shine. And in this last middle section, I'm going to draw just a simple self portrait. And I like to turn the star so my when I draw my face, the oval is the length of the star so I can fit a little bit better there. I'm just gonna divide my face halfway and halfway. and draw just some very simple details since it's very, very small. My last step is to fill these sections with fun patterns and designs. If you are stuck on any sort of repeating shape or line, you can look up Zen Tangles and that's a great source of inspiration if you are getting stuck. So I'm gonna fill those in. Once you're done with all of your patterns and lines and drawings, then you are ready to outline it with Sharpie. 